Be prepared. Nigga, I'm gonna fucking kill you, nigga. And he will do anything. First and foremost, this is my shit. My house. John John just a lead owner. Don't get it twisted. I run shit over here. Like top boy. Everyone has their weakness. <laughs> this supposed to solidify who the top bull in the pen What's up? The time is near. You in front of a killer. I'll get to you before God. Man, shut up. Southern Crown 2, Low Soul versus Bad News. Let's go ahead and put this to rest. He can't punch better than me. He can't write better than me. He can't perform better than me. What are you supposed to prove to y'all? Don't even worry about that. I'm running shit, ain't no if and buts and maybes. This nigga battle XL in a half ass DNA. Nigga, you stand in front of me, you know what you gonna be thinking all three rounds, nigga? That's exactly what you gonna be saying all three of my fucking rounds, nigga. Nigga, I'm gonna fucking kill you, nigga. The truth will soon be fulfilled. Bullpen battle leagues, nigga. Face of bullpen battle league. Carolina shit. Tampa, Florida. Dot my NSB. There's no reason why we both on the stage at the same time. Top bull, I run shit, nigga. Frick. <laughs> What's up, it's John John and Don, man. We about to get right into it with the top 10 battles of Bullpen Battle League of 2016. First off, I wanna get into the, the honorable mentions before we get into the list. And uh, within the honorable mentions, gotta talk about that bad news versus Lil' Key, man. Like, <clears throat> um, of course, that was featured on Lifetime, Jermaine Dupri show, the rap game on Lifetime. And where, you know, in the show, they came into what was already put together, a bullpen event that was already put together. And I just, you know, I tried to call the kids off guard. You know what I mean? The kids didn't know nothing about battling. I'm not even sure if they knew anything about going to a, a rap battle. Nah, I think they did. It was on the show, right? Mm -hmm. But they didn't think it was gonna be like that. So when they came in and they seen the intensity because that day, you know, it was rocking. It was crazy in there. It was packed in there. So when they seen the intensity, they was kind of scared. And for me to catch him off guard and call one of the kids up there, well, I didn't. I didn't specifically call any of the kids. You know what I mean? I just said if anybody think they could do it, jump on stage, and they jumped up there. But for Lil Key, for him to jump up there against somebody that's as aggressive as Bad News. You know, who recently just went toe to toe with Shotgun Shug, a classic Shotgun Shug as far as aggression goes. And the little nigga got aggressive with bad news. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like, and then it worked perfect for the show. That was actually the, the highest rated sh episode of that season. Probably to this day, the highest rated episode of that show, period, season one, two, and three. Um, but yeah, that's definitely honorable mention, man. Bad News vs. Lil' Key is out on the Shrug Life Network channel right now. Uh, pushing 300,000 views. I need to go check that out. Um, but it was another battle that happened that day as well. And it was also featured on the rap game with one of the contestants from the rap game. J.I. Prince of New York vs. Cannon the Beast. Now, with this particular one, he was the, the first kid to jump on stage, and he was also the littlest one. You know what I'm saying? Like, J.I. Prince of New York was the littlest kid, and he jumped up there, like, with all the confidence in the world. You know what I mean? And Ken and the Beast got up there, and that's actually, if it's not the most viewed battle on the channel, it's one of them. You know, uh, and a lot of people, you know, <laughs> they was leaning towards J.I. Prince of New York for him to be, for him to get caught off guard against Cannon, a seasoned battler that's been doing this for some time now. So I think that just, you know, that, that made people gravitate towards it more, which makes it a great battle, you know. So those, those two honorable mentions right there. 
cause I'm a veteran. You can make a list of rappers I'm better than yet again. They just really want to get in my head again. But I'm competitive, so I'm never going to stop. I'm ahead of them. I am a beast. What? Another honorable mention, Fonzie vs. Street Hymns. Street Bars Why everywhere. Jordan I think this is Street Hymns breakout Jackson. battle. I think this was the battle to where people really woke up to his pen for real. You know, him vs. Riggs, he did, people knew about his pen, but I think more of a star show, you know, with Street Hymns vs. Fonzie, and Fonzie put up a damn good fight. Go check that out, happened on Southern Crown. And one more, I'm gonna go with, Bad news and deep flames. You know, I think this was a very aggressive battle. This battle was aggression. It was also on Southern Crown One. I think that's another overlooked and slept on battle. There's plenty of other honorable mentions too. Now, we get into this top 10. Let's get right into this top 10 list, man. Coming in at number 10. Gotta go with. Kayshawn and Sharon. Now, Kayshawn and Sharon, this was an anticipated battle ever since the infamous smack off of smack. You know, um, of course, I was there. Y'all see my face. I didn't know anybody. I don't know. As a matter of fact, that might have been what introduced me to what a meme was. <laughs> this nigga had me in it. But you know, I think people wanted to see the battle go down after that, and then you know, um, you know, Sharon is running around with this smack killer Monica, and you know, Kayshad is you know being one of the most you know the bigger names on URL. I just feel like it had to go down where everything went down at, you know. But it turned out to be a crazy battle. Go check it out. Uh huh. <laughs> I mean, you got a battle rap legend versus another legend. Okay, John. <laughs> I mean, he a legend. Not because of his great rhymes. He a legend because he was the first nigga to be on Don't Flop and Smack at the same time. I really want the death of every crooked cop. That's a true fact. Y'all say hands up, don't shoot. I say guns up, shoot back. Waiting all week to put this nigga in a business suit, ladder on the side of his house. I'm about to fix his roof. Gave his dog pounds. Gave his dog pounds for thinking they was finna snoop, but he got the bow at the door like gin and juice. Yeah? Oh, y'all like that snoop? Oh, y'all like that snoop shit? But that was just a cover up to be on his dog house with the button up. Big I'll tell you what I do with the real gun. You about to get this karma. Right now he's panicking, teeth fucking chattering. Slim Jesus about to leave him holy like the Vatican. Gun so big, hold it like a javelin. Kick back, boom, look like I'm smacking off his hat again. Oh. Right now he's panicking, teeth fucking chattering. Slim Jesus about to leave him holy like the Vatican. Gun so big, hold it like a javelin. It was fire. Crowd loved them. They actually want them back. So yeah, K. Shine and Sharon, man, coming at number ten. Number fucking nine, nigga Rondo. PC versus Zigzag. Now, this battle was wild. I don't think. I don't. I don't think Zigzag or PC respected each other coming into this battle. You know, just from the shit that they was talking, from what they said to each other, no, from what they said about each other to me personally, there was no respect. So it's like neither one of them could expect a fight like they had, you know, and it's just, each of them probably had two of the best rounds they, they probably had. Well, it was definitely their best rounds up until that point. You know what I mean? It's definitely one of my favorite battles. Um, y'all need to go see that, man. PC versus Zigzag, man. Shout out to Zigzag, Ball Razors, North Carolina. Shout out to PC, P to the third letter. Y'all see what he doing. But yeah, definitely a slept on battle. Definitely an overlooked battle. Definitely worth the watch. PC versus Zigzag, number nine. Players, what have you ever done to even warrant that name? 
You ain't even top 10 in Atlanta. And it's only like four in the game. <laughs> The cops never saw a clip this height or see more shells since mischief night. You get the picture, nigga? Uncle Tom, I'm a different nigga. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you rain through there, it'd be more the same. I just think you're blind to the fact that your name is just wet. I mean, I can see you picking a corny your name. But let's get one thing. Let's get one thing straight here. You should relax yourself. You don't want to get curled up, cause that's perm, and it's not a problem to roll up here. Looking for smoke, I'm big worming. I know y'all thinking like, what if one day he don't go to work and he stayed home waiting there for me? Shit, I ain't worried. I always came to his crib with a gun about his age. That mean I had the 38 of the four. <laughs> Corny to make it to 30. Y'all don't see why that feed my rage. Talk to him. When I bet every one of y'all got a little homie that died young. Uh -huh. Wishing he can be my age. <laughs> If homie got that work shit, we all at his house now. Oh, Creeping through his window, seen bro, and he crouched down. Uh -huh. Plus, I saw three little kids think three little pigs, cause we came with them sticks. Oh, and he on his last straw, so if homie got them bricks, then I'm going out. Coming in at eight, man. Chef Trez. Versus Sire Boy. It's no longer Sire Boy. It's Sire now, but it was Sire Boy at that battle. I think it might have been Sire about. Anyway, Chef Trez versus Sire. Fire battle. I think it's definitely overlooked. Definitely back and forth battle. There's not one person that watched that battle that gave its review on it and said it was anything less than fire. I decided to do a Sire Boy vs Chef Trez review. Um, oh my god, where do I even start? This for me has been a battle that I've been waiting for for months. Ever since I discovered Chef, ever since I came across Sire, I have been saying these two for me need to go up against each other because they were quite evenly parred in my opinion. They're quite a, on the exact same level. And um, I just knew this shit had to go down. You got it fucked up thinking you could hurt me, bitch. You a pretty boy that wear contacts and glasses. I bring a ratchet to you on some thirsty shit. Catch you in that same Brooklyn Nets hat and aim at you in a hurry quick. Blow off the bottom word and make the Nets flip like a curry swish. When I wore my hat halfway on last battle, it gave me superpowers. <laughs> Front out. Hat was hanging on for like stupid hours. <laughs> but you can be my twin brother, Trez. I gotta try you. The fifth, I pop it by your bow. But your wig could be hanging out of your hat like Palomaro Smith. Oh. It's all doing about action. I know it, dog. About like a freak bitch on her period. You all mouth, but honestly. Oh. Any thoughts of running up on me? Just dead it now. I sleep with more four fives and nines than a pedophile. Oh. I say move lame, but acting superman, you get bodied, I'm doomsday, breaking your house. The non peeking through your curtain like a school play. Who you we can have a shootout, Trez, any day of the calendar. I take the ring, then kill the little bitch, Selena manager. Oh! You the down south newborn, nigga. Oh! You the down south newborn, nigga. Make sense. <laughs> you the down south newborn, nigga. And I'm giving you the shot right now. I'm on, nigga, but this shot you only get in the south. Corn liquor, where you home? I put on classics with DNA Arsenal niggas you, that you proceed the best to award me. You motherfuckers give me a nigga named Chef that ain't even seasoned yet. I should, Whoa. I should, Whoa. I should wrap a phone cord around his throat, ring his neck, cut his head off his shoulders, sew it back, reconnect neck to his blood of my blood, flesh in my flesh, I'm DMX. Trez been wanting to battle Sire for a minute. I think that, that was the best 
entry battle for Chef Trez to bullpen to come to Saya. Saya being one of the most respected battle names in the South. Trez being one of the up and coming stars coming from the South. Atlanta to be specific. It just was the perfect matchup, perfect clash. They both showed up to fight. And that's that's definitely one of bullpen's best battles. Okay, number eight. Lucky number seven. Cortez versus Riggs. Of course, Cortez versus Riggs happened on Fade 2016. Definitely, you know, a battle of the wordplay gods, whatever the fuck they want to call themselves. Mr. Nasty and Mr. <laughs> nah, but this was definitely a crazy battle. You know what I mean? This is for uh, Riggs' first big plate. Definitely his biggest battle he's had. Um, Cortez returning back to the pen. Cortez is definitely a favorite in bullpen. And, and, it, and it happened on a, on a great card, uh, uh, definitely one of the best cards to go down on bullpen. Definitely a, a fire back and forth. Need to go check that out. It's number seven for a fucking reason. Cortez versus Rex. Hey, nigga, you keep fronting. That heat dumping. Don't you know I'll bring something just so I can leave something? Stomach shot. Bop, bop. Nigga, you'll leak lunch and pump your brakes. Don't be acting on big rigs. Just keep trucking. Yeah. This stage wild. So fuck it. I let that thing fly to hit your bimbo twice. You punch your whole career to make it and die. You can both slice. I've been this nice from Raleigh to Zone 6. I let the chrome spit you from New York, right? Well, I promise it'll be K's if you get homesick. I'm on, bitch. Skip the business. I'm digging ditches. Vacate or take flight. Either way, this bitch is tripping. Now y'all get it? Ice road truckers. Riggs is slipping. Your man's weak. Pete the punch. Because when his hands beat, they'll fuck up your damn speech when they keep landing. Back to back, damn sheesh. You ain't caught the damn scheme. I could get him popped off the Zen or Zen Geek. You a damn freak. I got punches, witty with substance, but it's nothing really in dog. This is the part where I prove that you ain't fucking with me. I mean, damn, they don't even know your quote. Right, I say, yo, yo. Mentally, Cortez think he running with me. So this is the round where I show you punchlines, delivery, metaphors plus lyrically, a Cortez. Dog, no. you, you ain't fucking with me. Ain't doing all my shit. Like you know all the answers I got a ratchet And a closet fully loaded with ambers That's her play Ratchet, amber I rose to the top I'm strong here Cut it short Ain't this the fade? No wonder he don't belong here As a matter of fact It's wordplay time Cause this battle gonna end different You walk through the front Cool, I snuck in the back I came in different I wasn't raised right now I said I wasn't raised right. Guns, hoes, drugs, and money. Nigga, my end's different. This map shows no sympathy. That means it's indifferent. I loaded in different from a different end. Bow. Arm, leg, leg, arm, head. Hit his chest, spin, and come out the other end different. I'm indifferent. You that bad guy? You best hope that they loyal. I plant rigs in the sand, and then I'm coming for all you, bro. different. So watch who you sizing up. You can catch a pair of nines, we can box, either that or die behind bars. Somebody better free Cortez, rewind, really, really, who wears a size nine? Me. Cool, I got him in a box, here's a pair of free Cortez. Number six, got the two and two, man. NWX versus NYB. Kayshawn DNA versus Math Hoffa Cortez. This is definitely, if not the most viewed battle, is top two, one of the best battles. I would say this this kind of battle kind of gave a lot of recognition to bullpen as a league. You know, um, especially look at Math and Cortez. When I when I put that matchup together, people was like, 
They was acting like that was far fetched. Like these things don't hang with each other. Like I don't understand. Like how, how did that catch y'all off guard? It was perfect for me because I wanted to book a matchup that nobody was thinking about. And then you put them up against the two on two, the two on two kings at the time, DNA and K Shine, and it turned out just as fire as fire it was gonna be. You know what I mean? They had fun up there. It was still competitive. And, you know, that gave notoriety to Mad Fafa and Cortez as a team. They got booked on double impact after that. It wasn't nobody thinking about that two and two. Math and Cortez will tell you that. You know what I mean? And Bullpen Battle League assisted in that, but that's definitely one of the best battles to happen on Bullpen, hands down, which is why it's number six. Yo, bro, this rap is sick. I'm about to both these faggot niggas. They like average bitches, easy to take down. Just pass the blickers out here, K D faster than Westbrook when he can't get past the fenders. Oh. Y'all solo? No one cares. You God, master killer, but y'all ain't. Oh. I ride with heat, then we hitting the floor soon. Driver's seat, they getting the 12 before noon. This the type of niggas you fuck with? They all doomed. Let's see what type of judge math is when I start banging that hair in courtroom. Oh. <laughs> what you talking about? You make the heater spray. I met your mom's. She's fine. What the fuck is wrong with your DNA? <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Y'all yeah, niggas want to know what rhymes with math and Cortez? No, a couple things. Nasty ball heads. <laughs> he didn't take the nigga to get Cortez on the car. For the low and then ask for more bread. <laughs> You just talk about our baldies. <laughs> I guess you feel the same about rain. <laughs> And K Short, if you talk about my age, remember. Big T like the same thing. <laughs> now they gonna talk about my rage. Try to act like you ain't a father. Yeah, try to make me feel like a slimy jerk. But they be dapping up saga. <laughs> <laughs> But he always fucking loved the oh, recipe. recipe. Cortez, you never had the ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> you my man, but nigga, you be killing me. The best tip we can give you from the restaurant is work on your delivery. <laughs> I see his head split, red shit everywhere, while his legs twitch. Don't forget to hop out and give him that. Is he dead, kid? <laughs> I got four four tests. Uh -huh. Y'all like the Jermaine Dupree line, but this is going to be a so so death. I came mean, <laughs> <laughs> to kill both of these niggas because you ain't top tier dummy. I call you my man, but it's been about eight years. <laughs> <laughs> now we're rolling into the top five. Coming in at number five. So one rounder Arsenal versus Sire. Now, this was, you know, to, for Bullpen to have Arsenal come to this platform, period, was big. You know what I'm saying? The number one most viewed. Um, and the thing is, he came to play. Like, and this was at a time where a lot of top tiers would, would go to different leagues, especially new leagues. And just, and just you know what I mean? They coming for the check. Arsenal shook that room like no other. He came out first. It's a one-rounder. Shook the room crazy. They said his slogan twice. They told him to bring his slogan back. You know what I'm saying? So it was just that type of love. And then you got Sire, who a lot of people, you know, people like to, they don't really like, they don't want to like him because of whatever attitude. Sire's whole attitude is if I don't know you, I don't got to fuck with you. You know what I mean? And a lot of people don't really like that. But for Arsenal to come out on fire like that, and Sire to fight back and arguably beat him. There's a lot of people that got Sire beat in Arsenal, but at the end of the day, it's a fire one-rounder. Definitely one of the best battles on bullpen. Not just 
it's not one of the just the, the best rounds. It's just one of the best battles. Even though it's one round, the shit's on a lot of battles. That's three rounds, and that's coming from me. Fuck it. Now, Sire, he asking John John how much he getting paid. John like, yo, play by the rules. He said, nah, I don't really need that much. Just enough to pay for my shoes. <laughs> now, John looked at the nigga and said, well, you going to be one barefoot ass nigga. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Is you gonna read a poem while you rap? That ain't a joke, that's a bar. I'm just telling you, stupid, I'm about to snap. I show up, AK-47 and light your ass. Big strap over the shoulder. It's like a diaper bag. Wait, let me step these niggas, John. It's about time I start checking these niggas, and I'm gonna make the body look bad. Like Mexican bitches. Now, I'm from up top. I'm sure you know where Nork is, nigga. Nork. South. Jersey, nigga. South Couple South minutes from where New York is, nigga. Ah. Uh, like West Coast slang. I know you know where the mark is, nigga. Uh -huh. So do your mother. That's why she named you Mark is, nigga. <laughs> I give a fuck Mark. who be with you. Big two leaving you. Boys through the front. Dreads falling out like leukemia. Oh. I see blood on my hand in the near future. I got my palm red. I'm like the big black nigga from life. You want your cornbread? You ain't got a bunch of niggas' names tatted on your flesh and they all dead. Where I'm from, I know a female fiend that for some crack should give a dog head. Fat, but arse, you can have that. That ain't even what I'm mad at. Your baby mom knows she a freak. She can deep throat the whole dick and then go for the nuts. She remind me of your old job. She knew how to play with the kids and still have control of the bus. Number four, Chef Trez vs. DNA. Trez it's back on the list again. Trez definitely got, I think, uh, all the Trez battles on bullpen. He gave classic performances. We can't take that away from him. He's definitely loved out here. Um, but this was the perfect matchup for him. It was DNA. It's like it was... It was a no-brainer. He was already asking for it. It was definitely one of the most anticipated battles on that card that year. And for them to be anticipated the way it was and to live up to the hype, some people would say it exceeded, it exceeded the hype. Um, fire rebuttals back and forth. It showed, it showed that Trez, Trez showed that he could, he really here for real. You know what I'm saying? He's really here. With DNA, the quote-unquote PG killer, and he's been shaking the room every time he stepped on the bullpen stage. It was just a fight, man. Definitely one of my favorites. Definitely top five, arguably top four, top three best battles to ever happen on bullpen. Salute to Chef Trez. Salute to DNA. We appreciate the classic fellas. Came in at number four. Wherever his crew hang, I'm moving. This new lane is losing. Get the robin. Plus, what's on my side? Kick like Bruce Wayne recruiting. This new thing I'm shooting. Got two trays I'm using. When I bring stuff closer to you, God, that's a Wu Tang with you. Let's go. You a weirdo, and why you get smacked all them sponsors? Be real, bro, why nobody sponsor you? Is it two ladies that still hope you like a phone charger that don't work? That was real dope, because basically, you connected to the plug, but still broke. Yeah, 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 yeah. When would the crime stop? Wait till the nine pop. If you with six niggas, that's cool. We making five drop. I am the PG killer. When will I get my props? And they said I couldn't beat them on fade. You must be hot, top. I ain't come PG killer? That's what they call you in these mean streets? Nigga, that's equivalent to being the best player in the D-League. What's he doing? <laughs> And watch how I use two PGs. My bar's deadly. If they want to shoot and get that step on, I'll have a mall buried. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. We need, oh, we need to call a meeting. I need to ask that bitch why she gave you that name and I want all the reasons. Was she drunk? Is she a slut? Did she fuck different niggas on the weekend? So she named you San Trash because she ain't know if you was Mexican or Puerto Rican. <laughs> 
Uh-huh. His hands are shot, nigga. Uh-huh. Let's see if y'all leak different. Uh-huh. You got your tooth knocked out. I knocked off niggas' teeth. We ran the streets different. But you said something about Puerto Rican and Mexican mom. It's actually Puerto Rican and Mexican when they heat spitting. Because they both similar, but when they get mad, they speak different. <laughs> Getting into the top three. Bad news versus shotgun shook. Fire, 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 fire. Bad little bullies, man. Y'all see what was going on? It was crazy in there. Shaq came to see this. Like, Shaq came to see bad news versus shotgun shook and it lived up to everything and matter of fact this is a battle that had hype but the hype wasn't really that crazy because people wasn't really f that familiar with bad news just yet but this this is the battle that made bad news so and so i would say that this battle exceeded the hype that it had it went past the hype that it had lived up to everything lived past it and this was after, you know, they said Suge was in a slump, so he needed a great performance, and I'm glad he brought that shit to bullpen, man. But definitely top three, man. Arguably top two. Some people will say top one. Definitely a battle worth watching, man. Shotgun Suge versus Bad News. I told my niggas I had Shotgun Suge. They said, they said the nigga that be tapping niggas' pockets and be bitching niggas? Right. I said, yeah, he be tapping niggas' pockets, but I don't know about them bitching niggas. Plus, I ain't worried about you touching my pocket, because I'm a different nigga. Plus, growing up, I was always the one that started the fights with the bigger niggas. <laughs> say you know number two and three could be interchangeable bad news versus shotgun sug or you know chef trez um and bad news you know what i mean but i think this battle was just really important because as far as the bullpen goes the atmosphere in the bullpen that kind of showed everybody in the bullpen that news was going to be a top bull because he's going against trez who i'm pretty sure everybody had smoking news going into the battle Nobody thought news stood a chance. Um, not even, well, I'm not gonna say I didn't think he stood a chance, 
But I just felt like, you know, Trez was going to have the upper hand in that battle. And for news to come out and fight the way he did, and then there was two bulls going at it on that stage, and to really make that noise that it did, that was big. So I think, you know, that kind of impact, and then it branched off for news to be able to get a battle like Shotgun Shug. So it's almost like if he didn't put the performance he did with Trez, he probably wouldn't have battled Shug so soon. So... Number two, man. You know, it's definitely a lot of people's favorites. Go check that out, man. Bad News versus Chef Trez. I got it real because you my brother. Your buzz passed on you. Plus, you stupid with your moves. I look from the outside like fan wildin' was fire. Got a PG die. Fire again, got me, and got locked up. You would have been past shining. You missed your chances to eat. So fuck bad news. You should be bad timing. I was Pickers. We some village niggas. Save your Peru lies. We don't feel it, nigga. We all shrap. That six pointing at your head like thriller, nigga. Who cares? That's fire. That is fire. Who cares you had side your boy your DNA? You are not on top. Our style's different. Don't get caught in your hood with your loot, or you'll be kissing the gun. I just told you I got the block on lock. Now y'all can stand there and act like that plot won't hot, but styles, hood, loot, kiss. That's the block on lock. John, John, you one of them dead, right? I ain't sparing niggas, foes raised, exposed page on site. I'm airing niggas, Antoine and Dove, right? When you portray this thug type, you brave. I question your heart, like asking you about your love life. Two arms, hog tight, hella shots, club night, snub tight. Shoot ant like I'm recording a box, like you said. Yo, they say you out here in Georgia, Trez. Cuffing on the thigh. Before your battle rap money for some loose change, she was. Fucking on the spot. <laughs> but we could battle for us, bitch. Let's see which rebuttal loves hot. But I'ma warn you, she told me how to freestyle. Had me coming off the top. <laughs> yeah. I say, first off, nigga, crazy don't even want battle rap no more. Yes. So that make you like the most stupidest nigga. Then you brought my girl into your round news. Uh -huh. You the most rudest of niggas. Well, my, my girl named Neek, right? So I tell her, like, here, babe, put the tool to this nigga. When I tell her to give her the technique, it's like she's schooling in this. Oh! 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 Pocket knife mentality. It's just something in my jeans is sharp. My nine. My non-meditation. This can help clean your thoughts. But the magnum psychic, cause the false seeing your thoughts. I said, this is a sad case, guys. One when the game stopped, a witness said Antoine died with pride, trying to make his name pop. Wait, I'm receiving information. Chef Battle DNA at this venue when it was straight hot. They say he has OCD, because he's been doing a lot of washing in the same, same spot. Oh. Number one. Matter of fact, I don't, I don't even, I don't, you ain't, you ain't got to take my word for it. All right, let's get to this classic battle. XL versus Loso. Yes, this is the most recent classic in battle rap. I don't want to hear shit. Are y'all watching this battle out there? Yo, I got to tell y'all niggas, man. This battle was straight fire. Both of these niggas did they motherfucking thing. This is a fucking classic right here. I don't care what nobody say. This is a classic. You ain't seen it. You need to check it out. Loso. One of the best new niggas in battle rap. I know I'm, I may be late to the party, but I know I, I ain't as late as the rest of these niggas because ain't really nobody been talking about him enough. So everybody might be late to the party on Loso. And he's definitely nice, man. Shout out to Excel. This is one of the best Excel battles that I've seen. So both of these dudes showed up. Loso versus Excel was a pretty good battle. I love the back and forth. I love the dialogue. First of all, man, shout out to Bullpen Battle League, man. Let's not, let's not like John John ain't putting on, man. This was a fire fucking battle. There is something that has gone on that is monumental. Monumental. Do you know what that shit means? It means it's a monument and it's mental, nigga. We got Loso versus Excel that went on. Rap Grid, we here with Loso and Excel. What's good, what's good, what's good? Uh, in my personal opinion, as I'm watching the battle, about two rounds in, I'm like, yo, this could be one of the battle of the year candidates if this shit finishes strong. Mm -hmm. And I felt like y'all finished it just as strong as y'all have done, so. Right. 
eye for eye, line for line. We nice, but in life, we way different. You pray for them. I pray on them. We pray different. Hey, what I holler in my verse is how you would it off me. You really lost me. Tonight, I'm going to straighten X up to show why you shouldn't cross. Y'all yeah. know where he wants to go after he dies in his soul rapture, so John, helping his man, reach his goals faster. Those rappers... Trash and so-so, those sparring sessions helped you gain your form. That's a dojo, this a real fight. Get too close, I'm stabbing low, so I drag him. Mop the floor with this nigga, fabulous. The only reason why you own this card is because we got sale for cheap like the clearance rack. <laughs> The amount you get paid to battle, boy, no man covet. So every time you lose, you basically volunteer for death. Boy, you so past summit. Now, oh! My mom, my mom gave me a Bible. This shit was such a long read. But it did give me a title. We can call you Lost G, Sodom and Gomorrah. I see you ain't get it, dog peep, because when you go to look back, you gonna be salty, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Excel. You said your mom's bought you a Bible? Oh. Right. Okay, so let's do some Bible trivia then. Y'all oh. wouldn't mind if I question him. I'll give you something easy, Excel. Like, can you tell me if the book of Hezekiah is in the Old or the New Testament? Oh, oh. Old, okay, cool. Cool. But that's why I don't even look to these items. I just got a question, though. How is Hezekiah in the Old Testament when that ain't even a book in the Bible? Oh. So wait, so wait, 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 wait. So not Since he thinks he's a rough and tough dude, I got a loud ratchet in the front. You can't rebuttal. Think Adam. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I got a loud ratchet in the front. You can't rebuttal. Think Adam and Eve. If you see me come to buck you, cause son gonna need a cane after the first fucking couple days. to come up here and disregard my God and his law. Not knowing that when you argue against him, you're arguing against the very person that makes you able to even argue at all, but he ain't focused on that. He just worried about these women. Direct messaging them same girls who friends on you. Man, she see them texts. You be begging like, what they really want from her. Why you in her DM, man? They tear gas us when we stomp, but they escort the clan when they walk through Piedmont. I mean, oh, now, now, now with all that unjust fuckery going on, instead of catching these niggas, we rather catch Pokemon. So why we do religious dude. He ain't never felt the gap. Plus a 5% is highest goal is to obtain peace. Well, I can help with that. That's the top 10 bullpen battles of 2016. But don't go nowhere. We got more in store for y'all for 2017. Like... Southern Crown too, man. Y'all need to be on the lookout for that. That's that bad news versus Loso. And we got more announcements coming too, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, not only that, we are gonna show y'all Shivery been dead a long time ago. <laughs> Let's get it, man. Bullpen over bullshit. John John and Don, Shrug Life Network. Just stay tuned. We got the website on the way. Subscribe to youtube.com backslash Shrug Life Network. That's what it is, man. Shout out to DigiGrade Media. I'll give y'all a wrap up, man. What y'all want to see in 2017, and we're going to close out with that. What you want to see more of in 2017? Um, niggas not just 
battle rapping. Nigga, do something else. Show me you a motherfucking person. Y'all niggas is battle rap robots. At the end of the day, That's B, you got to start fact. throwing these young boys on the big cards against each other. Stop throwing just little boy cards. Throw the big card and put two niggas on it. I want to see more females take the stage and take over battle rap. There's been some resurgence of the female <laughs> culture. 2017, God felt it out. What you want to see more of? Merchandise. So what I'm saying is for battle rap to go to the next level, merchandise has to be included. When you look at fucking yeah. wrestling, these niggas got action figures. Yo, clips. These niggas title, got t-shirts. These niggas got slogans. These niggas got bandanas. These niggas got anything that's related to it. There's something. But does not. I want to see the mid tiers. My little crew go up. That's what I want to see. I want to see. Like to see more females on the cards. Period. Like that. Just female. I mean, we want to see Queen of the Ring, of course. But we just want to see. But it don't gotta be Queen of the Ring for it to be. Every bad rap.